Hello. Hello. This is Neil. And this is Neil. Today we're talking about pets and staff. And predictions and reality. And burgers and cars. All this and more. On today's broadcast of the CEN. Keep watching. What's up Wildcats and welcome back to your weekly sports recap. My name is Yasin Afifi and me and my team members are going to be updating you on what happened with Novi and sports. On Friday, Novi took on Plymouth at Plymouth and they were able to narrowly come out with a win due to some more, believe it or not, late game heroics from Johnny and Jaden late in the fourth quarter connecting on a touchdown pass and Dave Galligan hitting the extra point to give Novi the lead. Novi Varsity Cross Country had their Oakland County Championship meet placing third. Over the weekend, your Novi Girls Swim and Dive team went to the county meet, placing 7th out of about 30 teams. There, we got 5 stay cuts, including the 200 medley relay, the 400 free relay. I got a stay cut in the 500 free and the 200 free. Karina Erm got a stay cut in the 100 back, adding to Yufan Wu's previously earned stay cuts in the 200 IM and the 100 fly. So make sure to congratulate your Novi Wildcats. On Monday, your Novi boys varsity soccer team took on Way Memorial for senior night. Shout out to our seniors because it was senior night. We won 6-1. And on Tuesday, Novi Varsity Cross Country had a meet against Norfolk where, unfortunately, they came up short. On the good side, one of our Novi girls runners, Caitlin Egley, came in first place along with other two Novi runners coming in the top ten. On Wednesday night, the boys' varsity soccer team traveled to Stevenson to take on Stevenson for their first playoff game of the season. It was a pretty close game throughout, but Jackson Berkey gave us our first goal late in the game. Unfortunately, it was matched by Stevenson, and it took the game to overtime, where the game stayed tied until Novi took on Stevenson in penalties. Fortunately, Novi came out with a win, 4-3, and they looked to move on to districts versus either Farmington High School or CC. What's up, Bobcats? Are you interested in crocheting? I'll head on down to the Crochet Interest Group in room 160 on October 14th from 2 to 3 p.m. See you there, Wildcats. Dear Asian Youth Novite will be hosting the Voting in Your Right and Power event this Saturday at 1.30 p.m. in the Novi Public Library Hall Meeting Room. This event will focus on the importance of voting and civic participation and will include guest speakers from the advocacy organization American Citizens for Justice. You may also have the opportunity to pre-register to vote depending on your age. Join Dane this Saturday to learn how you can make a difference. Have a great day, Wildcats. Hey Nova, do you appreciate nature? Do you have an interest in preserving it? Well, come to Environmental Club today after school in room 184 to find out. They'll be hosting talks about officer roles in today's meeting. The Novi High School Theater Department presents this year's fall play, Take Two. Opening night is Thursday, October 10th. Shows are at 7 p.m. in the Black Box on October 10th, 11th, and 12th. Scan the QR code on posters to go directly to novihs.seatyourself.biz to purchase tickets. General admission is $12. We've got stories about siblings totally failing at art heists, a repairman falling in love with a washing machine, and a serious study that three chimps typing into infinity will sooner or later produce Hamlet. Hope to see you there. Good day. Hey Novi, this is Shrijan. And I'm John. And we're here with another episode of Rides of Novi. So John, um, this truck, it's, it's very big. Is there like a reason why you have such a big truck? To tow boats around. Oh, so you're a fisher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anything unique about this car? Very slow. Very slow. Very slow. So do you have any cool stories about your car? Um, I was trying to give one of my buddies his keys and I got a, a flat or a hole in my tire, like a nail went in it on 8 Mile the other week. Um, another fact about my truck is I have a, a multi-fold tailgate that was custom spec to the truck. So is there any reason why there's so much mud? I do go in the, uh, the off-roads over in downtown Northville. Alright Novi, I think this truck deserves a 7 out of 10. It definitely has a lot of potential, and I think if he just improves by adding some more modifications, some customizability to it, then it's definitely going to be a really good car. What's 
What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing the Krabby Patty Mural View at Wendy's. We're driving with Ben, we're going to be on the way, we're going to get the Krabby Patties. Alright, we're going to get started here. Can I get two Krabby Patty Meals? Thank you. Are you excited for Krabby Patty? <laughs> I've never even watched Spongebob. Krabby <laughs> Patty Condos. Yeah. Thank you. What's up, Wildcats? We got the Krabby Patty Meal. This should be our first impression of the Krabby Patty Meal. First, this is the pineapple under the sea frosty, and then it comes with the me <laughs> the medium fries. Here is the Krabby Patty. This is the Krabby Patty. First up, we're gonna be trying the pineapple under the sea frosty. Sure is pineapple. It doesn't really taste like pineapple off the start. It just tastes like vanilla. I think it's all at the bottom. It's not really mixed up well. We need to get the cream at the bottom. The deeper you dig, the more pineapple you find. I would give the frosty probably an eight and a half. I agree with that. I'd give it a strong eight. Fry time. It's just a standard Wendy fry. Not it got warm. cold in like five minutes. It got really, it got really cold. You got to dip in the frosty. Now I'm not a guy who usually does this. Fries normally like a five, but in the frosty, an eight. Now I normally don't like dipping my fries in the frosty, but this one, it tastes pretty baller. I would give this normally fries maybe a six right now since they're cold, but with the frosty, seven to eight. Now it's time for the main course. Now that's crabby. It's better than what it usually is. I think the Krabby Patty sauce that they say is a secret tastes like horseradish, and I hate horseradish. Would I get it again? No. I would probably rate the burger like a six. I'd give the burger a seven because it tastes better than what I usually get. Overall, I would probably rate this meal a seven. It's not the best, but it's also twelve dollars. So if you're gonna spend twelve dollars on a meal, I would probably not do it here. It's nothing too original. The only thing that's changed is the frosty. So overall, would I recommend the Krabby Patty meal? Just the frosty. The rest. No. I agree. Thanks for watching, Novi. We'll see you next time. Dude, this, this patty was so crabby. Hello, this is Neil. I'm here with another CEN NFL predictions versus reality. For Jimmy, Ryuse, and Matthew, let's see who really botched their predictions this time. The Vikings won 23-17 against the Jets. That's one point to Matthew. The Texans won 23-20 against the Bills. That's a point to Jimmy. The Ravens won 41-38 against the Bengals. That's a point to Jimmy, Ryuse, and Matthew. The Packers won 24-19 against the Rams. That's another point to Jimmy, Ryuse, and Matthew. The Cowboys won 20-17 against the Steelers. That's no points to anyone. Ha! The Chiefs won 26 to 13 against the Saints. And this is simply bizarre because that's another point each to Jimmy, Ryuse, and Matthew. In the end, we have Ryuse on three points, but Jimmy and Matthew both win with four points each. Well, I'll be back next week, hopefully with a lot of no points to anyone. Goodbye. Hello, this is Melissa, and today I'm with Jenny Schumann. And what do you teach at Noe High School? I teach virtual study skills and Japanese 1 and Japanese 2. And what's your unpopular opinion? The correct way to write a smiley face is this way, colon parentheses. If you write it, parentheses colon, you can't be trusted. Agreed. Oh, hello, this is Melissa, and today I'm with Miss Hunterhan. And what do you teach at Noe High School? Uh, I teach writing done and AP laying, and I'm also a student support coach. And what is your unpopular opinion? Halloween is far superior to Christmas. Fight me. <laughs> Hello, this is Melissa, and I want to take this time to thank all the staff who helped us bring this project to life. If you still want to be part of it, please contact us, and we'll happily add, add you to our list. Thank you so much. You made me... You can make yourself. Oh, my God. I'm doing this. Okay. Hello, this is Melissa, and today I'm with... Uh, Miss Hunterhan. Hello, and what's your... Wait, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. You went, like, away from the script. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just said hello. How am I away from script? <laughs> big in Mrs. James' room named Coffee. And a fun fact given to me by Mrs. James, so if it's wrong, it's her fault. Um, they have been domesticated for so long that they no longer exist in the wild. Rainbow, also known as Bowen, also in Mrs. James's room. And a fun fact about them is the pet trade is what helped bring lizards to America. Aww, oh, God. He's a happy boy. Wait, what if it poops on me? <laughs> Go, Christian, record. It is recorded. Oh. Come on, Vanessa! Um. What's up, Wildcats? Do you want your story featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Hello. Hello. This is Neil. And this is Neil. And this is the end of today's broadcast of the CEN. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye.